Hi, uh, welcome to this informational session for Glisten Phoenix's Shine Leadership Program. I am Rebecca Semek, Student Programs Manager at Glisten Phoenix, and we're here with Stella Peters uh, from Verado High School in Neashaban from South Mountain High School, and they are leaders on our team here in our program. So let's get started. What is the Shine Leadership Program? So SHINE is a free year-long leadership program that takes place from the end of July to the end of May. It begins with our weekend summer intensive in late July that we'll talk about here in a little bit, and it prepares LGBTQ youth and their allies to lead in their GSAs. Um, these are typically called gender sexuality alliances, gay straight alliances, or other names like equality clubs or diversity clubs. Um, so basically the SHINE team plans safe affirming student events around our national campaigns while schools and communities. So what are the objectives of this program? So ultimately, we want to expose and integrate LGBTQ students and their allies into GLSEN's work, um, especially supporting GSA clubs. So that includes planning student events, uh, learning to lead those GSAs, and even attending school board meetings where they can really let their voices be heard. Um, it also means um, integrating those students into the, the work of this local chapter. Um, so Glisten Phoenix is a, one of over 40 chapters of a national nonprofit. And so really giving them a voice within the work that we do locally here in Phoenix, um, participating in different committees with Glisten Phoenix and networking with other local nonprofits. Um, ultimately, this is a leadership development program. And so while they're getting all these experiences and exposures to new organizations and opportunities. Um, we're also working to develop leadership skills um, that empower them to advocate for themselves and others. So especially things like public speaking, networking, fundraising, organizational management, project management, accountability and responsibility are some really key skills that we're hoping to foster and develop in our SHINE leaders throughout the whole season. season. So now we're going to talk about the different pieces of the shine season. Our school year typically, since we work in schools, our season typically falls on the school season. So we have a lot of really great events that our shine leaders can take part in. And so we're going to talk about those and Stella and Nia are going to share their own experiences having done them this past year. Awesome. So our first event is our summer intensive training. Um, it's a week long uh, season kickoff. There is extensive training and workshops facilitated by GLSEN adult mentors such as myself, um, but also returning SHINE leaders. So Stella and Nia will be able to help facilitate some of those programs and trainings um, with our new applicants. We're also gonna do a lot of fun team building activities and lunches together because a really big part of this weekend is just bonding as a team so that we really get to know each other and really set the foundation for working together all year round. Um, and then also we like to bring in um, some of our community partners that we have. Um, this past year, we actually had Lucha, Teen Lifeline, and Bloom365 come and speak to Shine students about some of the programs they do. And so right off the bat, we're introducing Shine leaders to other nonprofits and other ways to advocate for themselves and their peers. Um, Stella, Nia, would you like, guys like to talk about your experience with the summer intensive? So the first day, uh, it's always my favorite because we do a lot of different activities, like getting to know each other and also getting to know Glisten and Shine. So I remember my favorite activity is always earliest messages, but we also did an LGBTQ timeline. We looked at some statistics and made comments about them. And we always have an open discussion after every, um, every activity. So I've always loved that part because I like getting to talk about what we've done and reflecting on it and hearing the other opinions of the other students that are there too and the second day was super laid back 
the presentation from Lucha was really good. And I also remember um, getting some really good information from the Teen Lifeline and Bloom365 about like how to support someone who is going through some type of mental health or uh, in a bad situation and how to support them and give them the resources they need. Um, and then we went to the spaghetti factory. So it was just super fun. And I've always loved spending time with with people I've listened. Awesome. Thanks, Nia. Really appreciate your contributions. It was a great uh, summer intensive. Looking forward to this coming year's. Awesome. So our first major event uh, that the SHINE team gets to help uh, plan and contribute to is our Back to School Summit, um, which is our GSA conference. Um, so Stella, do you want to um, talk a little bit about what the GSA uh, Back to School Summit is and your experience with it? Yeah. So, wait, am I muted? No. Okay, I'm muted. Great. Um, so the Back to School Summit um it usually it takes place obviously um near the beginning of the school year sorry that there's little kids in my house um and each each member of the shine team like we're kind of put into little groups and given a different glisten national holiday um or week or something like that um to make a presentation on and then that presentation um or you then present that presentation to everyone in the room um and even when you're there like there's times before that where there's just tables and tables of resources and other nonprofits and stuff where you can go and get um you know like buttons or actual other resources to take to your school for your gsa advisor um and stuff like that and it's overall just really cool the lunch was great everyone there was super nice um and i really loved it and it was a lot of fun Awesome. Thanks, Stella. Yeah, so it is our day long conference. So we have a lot of workshops for students as well as adult community members, whether they're educators, parents, community members at large. Um, and we have different tracks. So there's youth only tracks, um, adult only track, and there's even a combo of the two. These, these workshops are centered around how can we make schools safer and more inclusive. Um, so yeah, the Shine team was really awesome and delivered some really great presentations on our national campaigns for GLSEN. And yeah, so it's it's their first real dive into public speaking and getting really confident in that area so that they can use those skills throughout the rest of the season. Awesome. Sparkle Glitter GLSEN. So Sparkle Glitter GLSEN is our GLSEN Phoenix annual fundraising event. So it's typically in November and it's where we announce our award recipients for our GSA of the year, our GSA advisor of the year, ally um, award, and also just a really great opportunity for community members to get together and see the work that we do. And the Shine team gets to participate and, and really share their stories. And we had Angel and Nia uh, give some really awesome speeches this past year. Um, and so it's just a great opportunity to network, work on those networking skills, um, those public speaking skills, and also just see how a uh, nonprofit fundraises. So it's a really great opportunity. And uh, both uh, Stella and Nia were able to attend. Um, do either of you want to comment on your experiences there? Um, so I was a part of a couple of the stands, um, and one of them or was at the very front of where everybody enters. Um, and honestly, everyone that came up to me and talked to me was like the nicest people I've ever met. Like, everyone was just there to have fun and, you know, have fun with each other. And it was awesome. Awesome. Thanks, Stella. Our next event that we have in the shine season is our winter team retreat. 
And so this was actually a lot of folks' favorite shine memory of the year because it was just a really fun opportunity for our team to really get together and just, uh, we did a gift exchange. It was right when and when winter break was starting. And so it was really a nice chance to just relax and, and have fun. And uh, we also are going to be doing some more team building and leadership strategizing for the second semester of the shine season. So it's just going to be a really fun uh, team building activity and time for us to reflect on everything we've accomplished so far. Um, Stella, Nia, thumbs up if this was like your favorite uh, shine memory or <laughs> yeah, Stella, thanks Stella, <laughs> Nia. It was a really great time. Oops, okay. And next we have our GSA meetup. Stella, do you wanna talk about uh, our GSA meetup and what we did and who it was for? Yes, so the GSA meetup um, was, you know, basically just this large social event um, for not just Shine team members, but for other youth around the Valley. Um, we, all, we all converged in um, the one in 10 room, right? the one in 10 room yeah um and you know we got a projector and we all sat around and watched love simon and ate pizza and we had like um chips and drinks and you know it was a lot of fun and we had a resource table and we did a raffle um and it we we tied the whole lesson into no name calling week um and we did a, we did a lot of focus on like internal identities and then external identities. So it's like who you appear as on the outside, but who you identify as on the inside um, and kind of what that entails um, and how to be stronger in your identity um, and all that fun stuff. Awesome, yeah, it was super cool because I know that you and Nia were the key facilitators of this really great conversation. Um, around giving each other advice, anonymous advice, you know, basically your own Dear Simon letters, which was really neat to see um, kind of just the really meaningful and deep conversations that uh, the, the group of you were able to have when so many of y'all had just met for the first time. So this just meetup opportunity is really great because it really taps into that networking um, aspect of what Shine hopes to do of bringing LGBTQ youth, GSA students from all over Maricopa together to share in their ideas and what they can do to create safer schools. Nia, do you have anything that you want to add? It's okay if you don't. I, <laughs> um, no, um, I really liked the discussion that we had. I think it was before the movie or was it after I can't remember but either way it was a really good discussion and it got really deep and I was just glad that we were able to provide a safe space for everyone to be able to share their opinion and speak openly awesome awesome yeah you guys did a great job facilitating that conversation so good job all right, so I'm gonna turn it over to Nia to talk about our LGBTQ Lobby Day and Shadow a Legislator Day. Okay, so this day was, I think it was right before like COVID began getting serious, but it was still like, it was in the news and it was just kind of up in the air a little, but even still, it was a great opportunity to, um, be able to shadow a legislator because there's so many things that they do daily like every day they're down there um on the capitol making decisions and voting on laws and passing laws and i didn't know that we could go and see them do this we see the process and i just thought that it was really cool to see in general and knowing now that they they're doing things every day. They're not just sitting down and like doing boring stuff. They're doing things every day. So it gives me like a new appreciation of our state and the process of the way things work. Well said, Nia. Yeah, for sure. I think it's what's super awesome um, about this past shine season is that we've seen 
it really evolved into some really strong civic engagement for the SHINE students because we have a really awesome policy committee led by Carolyn Evans and Leslie George, who are our board members on that committee. And they're just making a lot of strides and doing a lot of great work. And we're really including our SHINE leaders to be a part of that so that they can really see that y'all can make a difference in what's going on. Even if you're not 18 and able to vote, you know, you can still have a voice, you can still advocate for yourselves and the kind of legislation that you want to see. Um, and so, yeah, so I think this was such a cool opportunity and can't wait to, to do it again. So. Next, Phoenix Pride. So Phoenix Pride, we always do Phoenix Pride. Um, and last year we had about 400 students and community members march with us. And so for um, the SHINE leaders, they can join our pride committee and be part of leading chants and passing out t-shirts and, and carrying our banner um, that we have. At the um, we also um, will be doing a student design contest for our banner. And so the SHINE team is really gonna be um, getting the word out and sharing that opportunity with folks. But it's another great opportunity for students to really get together and see the overwhelming support of the community for them and so really love this this event in general and i uh, can't can't wait for us to to have it again someday soon <laughs> all right i'm going to turn it over to stella and mia for this this one the most fun one um, the breaking the silence dance uh, Y'all both went to our last dance. Uh, Stella's ready. Stella's got her mic unmuted. She's ready to go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stop. You go, Stella. Okay. So the Breaking the Silence dance, probably one of the best events I've ever been to in my entire life. Not just saying that. I'm being completely serious. Um, because you know you're just in this. Again, it's kind of like um, the the GSA meetup. Like that was that was wonderful because that was like a small connected group of people. But this is like a giant connected group of people. Um, you know, everybody's dancing, everyone's having fun, everyone's just like, like you don't have to fear anything when you're there. Like you can just be totally yourself and not worry about like if somebody's gonna judge you or look at you weird because of the way you're dancing or like what you're doing. Um, and it's just this totally like loving, comforting, accepting crowd of people. Um, but you know, aside from the, the dancing area, if you're not like a big fan of that, we've got, um, the, the one in 10 room, which is where the GSA meetup was held, um, where you can go if you like more of like a quiet space or if you just need to take a break from the loudness of the dance room. Um, and, you know, you, there's always like arts and crafts and stuff in there. You can just sit and play like, I think they, they had like computer games open um, and they have a foosball table and hammocks and like it, it was such a, it was very fun. Every, well, everything's fun, but this was like top of the line fun. So I really love the dance because it was just a way to connect with this group of people that were like, like me, but from every part of Arizona. And it was really cool to see that happen and like come to fruition in front of my eyes. It was just super cool. It's an experience that I can say, I, I don't really know how to explain it in words because it was so like impactful and it was so it was simple, it was easy, stress-free, like nothing happened to what, what would make me like not want to go again. I want, I, if I could go today, right now, I would go. Like it was just so fun and yeah. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, it, 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 was, it was a really great event. It was um, the first uh, Breaking the Silence dance that Glisten Phoenix was able to host um, in downtown Phoenix. So really centralizing it so that we could get folks from all parts of Maricopa to attend. Um, and what I really love about it is how it's tied into Breaking the Silence. And so there's this really great programmatic piece at the beginning um, where we have an open mic and people share how they're breaking the silence and what that means to them. And then all together we yell a affirmative, like really awesome chant last year. It was uh, love is universe. Just 
being able to do that in this great community is just super empowering and it was super powerful and, and loved that moment of silence that we took and breaking it together was just super awesome. So I really love that event. And then finally, our last event of the season is the Shine Graduation Celebration. Of course, this season that's being a little modified current situation uh, that we're in. But uh, for next season, we're hoping that we can make it a big to do like it deserves to be. But basically just a celebration of everything that the Shine leaders have accomplished in the whole season. So. Um, Again, because we're not going to let them get away without another opportunity to, to public speak. Um, they'll, they're they're going to share like just short speeches about, you know, their time and shine over the year and reflecting on it. Uh, Nia mentioned this reflection aspect from our summer intensive. And so I think it's really great to come full circle and, and do that again here. Um, also doing awards and recognizing our seniors. This year we have three shine seniors graduating, which is super exciting. Um, and then also just, you know, food, fun, and GLSEN board members and volunteers there to show their support for these awesome young leaders that have just dedicated a full year of hard work and energy to everything we do with GLSEN Phoenix. So really excited for being able to do that and how we're going to modify that virtually for, for this current group of awesome young leaders. So yeah, so that that is essentially our full shine season from July to May, um, and it's 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 jam packed, and there's so much in between those those key touch point events, um, like committee meetings and going to your school board and drafting up legislation ideas. So there's there's a lot of cool things that happen in between those events, but those are kind of the 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 highlights. So the next piece we want to talk about is who can be a shine leader? What does that mean? What does it take to be a shine leader? How can I be a part of this team? So what does shine look like? Well, shine is growing. We've had a really strong core group of, of nine shine leaders this past year, but we're looking to grow and expand and hopefully uh, reach out to the rest of uh, the community. So we're hoping to enlist 20 new members um, this coming season. Um, they represent high schools from all over Maricopa. So all uh, nine students on our team right now are from nine different high schools. Um, and they're all of various LGBTQ and ally identities, various races and ethnicities, various spiritualities. So it's it's a very awesome, diverse group of young folks. And we we definitely honor and, and, and empower that. And we just, we love that, that we can see youth from you know, very different perspectives and identities and backgrounds come together and fight for this common cause. So what are the requirements? Stella and Nia, do you wanna take it away and talk about some of these requirements that we, we expect of our leaders? For the most part, the requirements are simple. You have to be committed to a full school year of involvement with the shine. And you have to be, of course, in high school, but um, you have to have a sort of openness about the Shine team and what we talk about in general, because it we're going to discuss a lot of different topics and issues, especially in the intensive. And you can't just go in with a closed mind. You have to be open and let the program take you and take you on the journey. Um, but we also there's also like a service and leadership portion. Like, I won't say don't be shy, but um, we're gonna bring you out of your comfort zone. So again, you have to be open to that. But also we do, there's a there's an involvement of like volunteering because at, our, at the events that we plan, you're gonna have a hands-on role. You're gonna be decorating, helping set up or tear down, all of that different types of stuff. And you have to, you have to, have to, have to be responsible because yes, there are adult mentors, but you're going to be doing a couple of things on your own and you have to be able to hold yourself accountable and be responsible for that. Also being open in communication. If you can't make it to a meeting, you just have to say that. We're not going to harp on you. It's not school. Like it's just simple and being able to communicate with um, an adult so that you can let them know and we can 
know what to expect from you. But also, it's about, I would say, like a 15 hour a month involvement in Shine. It's easier than it sounds, I promise, because once you get into the swing of things, it's just so much easy. It's so much easier, and it's like a ease, and it kind of flows with what you're doing, depending on how busy you are. Awesome. Thanks, Nia. Yeah, those 15 hours, I mean, our monthly meetings in person were three hours and, you know, between the events that we would have that might last all day or a whole evening or afternoon, um, those hours get used up real quick. Um, so then between going to, to meetings, um, doing some project planning on your own and coming to those events, uh, it's easy to get those 15 hours, but those are hours that you can also put on your resume. You know, those are hours that you can track to show like, this is my involvement. This is how dedicated I was to this work. Um, so it's, it's, it's really, it's really awesome. And, and like Nia said, it's, it's as much as you can put in and where we are recognizing like the different flexibility requirements, especially now, like we're going to shorter bi-weekly meetings versus one long monthly meeting, right? And so making it a little easier to stay connected and just get back together and stay on, on track. Um, but Nia makes a really good point too, where she said, you know, there's, there's adult mentors like me who are here to help set the framework for this program, but we're hoping to empower y'all as student leaders so that y'all can really just take charge and, and run with these, these activities and these events because um, they're for you, they're for you and your peers. So we want to make sure that that y'all really feel empowered to do that. But yeah, um, Stella, do you have any uh, other comments to add to it? Or does that sound like pretty decent representation of the Awesome, awesome. Thanks, Stella. Awesome. So how do how do you join? How do you how do you apply to become a part of the Shine team? So First, you got to know what you're going to get out of it before you put into it. So in addition to everything we just talked about, I mean, at the end of the day, you're going to come out with some really strong resume credentials, a really great LGBTQ network, community service experience, leadership skills, a reference letter if you get on my good side. Just kidding. Um, but no, really, I will. I will write you a letter. Um, and advocacy platform. So really knowing how to use your voice and, and speak for what you want to see in this world, right? So what's the process look like? Come to a Shine Info session. This is something we're doing right now and recording it for folks, but we have a live one uh, coming up in June. So feel free to hop on that um, and then submit your application. It's at this website, bit.ly slash PHX Shine 20. Um, apply at the absolute latest by July 1st. If you want early consideration, apply before June 1st and we can get you interviewed and, and accepted into the program and have you all set for summer intensive. Um, there is a phone interview, phone or video call interview that we like to do just to get to know applicants better and see if it's going to be a really good fit. Um, and then just mark your calendars. Right now, our summer intensive is slated for July 25th and 26th. Um, it's a weekend long intense experience. Um, depending on how things are going, how large the group is, um, we are considering virtual options for that. So it will still happen. It just might look a little different, but we're still going to make the best of it and still really incorporate some team building and some, some just training in there. Um, so it's going to be really great. So that's essentially what the process is. So feel free to go and apply as soon as we finish this recording. Um, and then we've got this question before, because we, we have these really great seniors that are just graduating right now. Like, oh man, I want to join Shine, but I'm not a high school student anymore. Um, so if that applies to you, or if you know a senior or recent graduate who would love to get involved with Glisten Phoenix, they can totally volunteer with us. Um, it's, we love to lead, um, some former GSA students. Um, so please just uh, come join us and volunteer with us in that capacity. You can vol or you can apply at the Glisten Phoenix volunteer bit.ly here, and then you'll talk to our volunteer coordinator, attend some orientation and just join a committee. So if you wanna work with student programs and 
do work with uh, student events and GSA visits, join the student programs committee. It's really awesome. Um, but there's so many other things like just attending lobby day and, and just being involved. So there's, there's still plenty of opportunities for those recent or uh, current seniors that are not going to be able to apply to shine. But yeah, so that's pretty much our presentation for today. Um, my email is Rebecca at glistenphoenix.org. I'm the student programs manager. So if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. Again, the application is there at bit.ly slash phoenix shine 20. So feel free to go there and apply or send it to a student, a friend of yours um, that you think would be really interested in doing this or be a great candidate because um, we'd love to, to see them grow on our team. And Stella, Nia, do you want to say any closing remarks or closing statements for our video? Join Shine. <laughs> um, I just say, just try it. Even if you're unsure, just try it because it's worth it and it's a really good experience. Awesome, yeah, dare to be brave. Dare to be brave and join us. Uh, we are so friendly and we honestly are just here to help grow and develop uh, young leaders. And so there, you're never gonna be wrong. We're just gonna help you grow. Um, so please, please, please apply and we look forward to seeing your application. But thank you so much and have a great rest of your day. Bye.